What's up guys? This is a quick little video for Dalen. I'm going to show you how to light this thing, brother, and uh, point out a couple of things about it. Okay, so to light this thing up, the first thing you're going to want to do is open the fuel valve all the way and then give it a quick shot of air at full blast and you'll see the fuel traveling up the fuel line. When it hits the fuel penstock, you're going to turn the air all the way off and turn the air on about half, or the fuel on about halfway. Then to light this thing up, what we do is we start off with very low air. I can't stress that enough. Just barely any air, just enough air to pump the fuel. And we want to be on like medium fuel, a good high amount of fuel to start. And then once you get a flame, I let this thing warm up before I do anything else. And then you're good to go. Also want to point out one trick is to turn the fuel first when you go to adjust the flame. If you want to increase it, you're going to want to give it fuel and then air fuel and then air slowly step it up that's only important on some fuels diesel and stuff like that it doesn't really matter because it's such a stable flame but if you're ever running a high velocity propane flame you'll definitely want to adhere to that axoin which is to add fuel first and then air during any adjustment phase Dalen, that's all you, brother. I'm gonna box this thing up. I'm headed to the post office right now. Just remember that one rule. You start off with very low air when you go to light this thing, and you can't lose. You try jamming out right away, it's not gonna light. Once you do get a little flame going, your best bet is to let it heat up a little bit because the IR coming off that combustion chamber has a lot to do with the stability of combustion. So once you get it hot, you can do anything to it almost, and you're good to go. But just filter your fuel or make sure it isn't dirty keep your fuel tube up off the floor of that tank I've never seen a sludge puddle any taller than that so as long as you're about a half inch high you're good to go and um, hope this thing works out for you man be careful what you're burning that waste oil has lead in it not very much but I think enough that you should be worried about ventilation and all that stuff and transmission fuel is toxic to burn so Stay out of that smoke, man, and I hope this does what you need it to do.